Hey everybody, we're taking a look at the verse of the day using the YouVersion Bible app. Today's verse is 1 Thessalonians 5.17, and it simply says, Pray continually. This is Paul writing to a group of Christians, and he's telling them that the day of the Lord is coming, that God's kingdom is coming, and that they need to prepare to be part of it. And, and some of the things that you do to be part of the kingdom of God, he gives them a list. You need to rejoice continually. You need to be thankful continually. And he says you need to pray continually. Now, I've heard this talked about before, like you need to always be praying all the time. Now, if you think about that in your life, that's probably impractical. But what's he really saying? Well, he's saying you need to pray over an extended period of time, that you don't give up on prayer. That it, it's something that doesn't just happen a moment or a moment a day, but that you're praying consistently day after day, month after month, that, that actually talking to God matters. And that's one of the things I love about this verse. It's a reminder that prayer is not some formal thing that happens just on a calendar, but that prayer is actually our conversation with God. And what would that look like for you today? What would that look like for me? If I start to just put God into the daily part of my conversation, that as my thoughts are thinking through the day and I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen next or I'm thinking about the next thing in my life, that that, that would uh, casually and easily just slip into conversation with God. That God would be my conversation partner throughout my life. That I, I would actually speak to God and it would be just a, in the natural flow of my life. This is really what Paul's getting at, that we don't give up on prayer, that we don't just do prayer as a, as a one-time event, but that we do it continually through our life, that we're consistent about it and we keep coming back to it. Now, it's a good thing, and I know Paul would say this, it's a good thing to put a prayer time in your life. But when you really look at Paul and, and the New Testament folks, when you really look at their prayer life, you see it actually all over the place. We know that Jesus would often get up early in the morning, but we also see prayers at night, in the middle of the day, and around meals, and with other people. We see prayers in times of trouble and, and in times when things are going well. God becomes the constant conversation partner in their lives. And He can for you. God wants to hear your voice. You know, often I'm, when I'm putting my kids to bed, my little guys especially, uh, we pray together and, and then I ask them to pray. They're not always comfortable doing that. But, but I, I remind them, you know, God loves to hear you. God loves it when you speak to him. And so uh, I want to tell you the same thing that I tell my little kids. You know, God loves to hear your voice. Whether you're upset or angry or happy or glad or, or things are just the norm. Whether you have a question to ask or something just to get that's just on your mind, God loves to hear you call out to Him. And He loves to hear you speak to Him. And He loves to hear your whispers. But not only that, part of prayer is actually listening to God. And what if you made that a part of your life as well? That in that constant conversation partner of your life, you would not only speak to God and get off your heart, what's, what's most on your heart, but that you would actually also stop and listen. That the God of all wisdom and all knowledge, the God that holds the whole world in his hands, would actually speak to you. And that's the beauty of this thing called prayer. That God would actually speak to you. And so when Paul says, pray continually, this is what he's talking about. He's inviting you into a life of conversation with God where you might hear from God and where you can speak to God. And he would actually listen. Scripture tells us that he, he bends his ear toward us, that he hears our cries. And Scripture says that he speaks, sometimes in a still, small voice, sometimes loud and clear. Let's, let me pray for you today. God, You've invited us into this incredible conversation with you. And we take time today to, to listen. Not, not to pause and listen, but to listen to you throughout the day. That your Holy Spirit would speak to us. 
And may we turn to you with every thought, with every decision, with every action and interaction. May we live lives of prayer. We pray this in your name. Amen. Hey, thanks for taking a look at the verse of the day with me today. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.